Why do they call it pigtails? Have they ever seen a pig's tail before? I want to know what little girl was sitting on the farm staring at a pig's butt and said, I want that on the back of my head. And rat tail, for guys, out of all the things you can name a haircut after, they could have called it eagle feather or tiger mane. They name it rat tail, pony tail. I'm going to walk into a salon and just start asking for random animal parts. C could I get just, uh, just some horse teeth up here in front? And my grandma, who gets that perm every month, say, yeah, could you just give her a uh, sheep's butt all the way around? Real tight, tight as you can get it. Sheep butt. And my punk rock friend with dreadlocks, can I just get cat poops all the way down? Little clumpy, not too much. Just start at the roots, squeeze your way down. And when you join the army, and give you a cow teat. Just take the buzzer, start gently at the base of the neck, and work your way all the way to the tip. Cow teat. And have you seen a cow lick? I want to know what farmer took their kid, covered his head with honey, stuck him in the cow trough, waited for a cow to lick off his head, pulled him back out, looked at him, and said, well my word, that looks almost exactly like cow wick. It's a cow wick. It's a spitting image. Talking about animals. When I was in college one time, no. I had just come out of the grocery store, Macy's. I bought some salted peanuts. Not for me. Uh, when I'm walking to class and I see a kid in a stroller, I wait until the mom's not looking and I put a peanut up the kid's nose and later the mom finds it and blames it all on the kid. <laughs> and I walk out to my silver Ford Taurus and I go to get in and as I reach for the handle, there's this, this white grime smeared across my hand. And so, I smell it. Is that was bird poop. Out of my entire car, that was the only part of the car I had to touch one square inch of that car to get inside. And that bird knew, and it put butt poop on that square inch that I'd have to touch with my fingers. This is a terrorist act. Do you have any idea the kind of sharp shooting millisecond accuracy that bird had to have to get that poop on the sideways part of the square inch on my two-ton car and only hit the handle? It had to fly over the row of cars, over the SUV that was blocking my car, scrape its toenails across the clip over the edge of the SUV, drop the package poof, right after it hits the SUV, hits my handle, poof, and fly away. It was a flyby pooping. Poof, down onto my handle. Poof, there it was. So I couldn't get my car. But I outsmarted that bird. I took my shirt, and I used the inside of my shirt, and it opened that handle. Poof, got the door open and got inside, put my nuts down, and I decided how I'm going to get that bird back. But I knew that bird had to be in the parking lot somewhere. So I scanned the lot until I found the nest. And I found them. They were in the hole on the A, on the word Macy's. They were in the A hole. And that little bird was sitting in there, staring right at me. And he knew what he did. What he didn't know, he's going to get a taste of his own medicine. So I dumped the nuts out in my passenger seat and I fashioned a sort of slingshot with my grocery bag. Uh, I don't believe in bathroom humor, so I'm going to skip this next part for you. But let's just say in about two minutes, I had a package ready to go in my slingshot. Into reverse, back the car out, and I take my package, bags crinkling, roll down my window and hang it outside, and lift it up over my Taurus and start swinging. And I pop it into drive, and I start pulling forward. I said, oh no, he did head. Oh yes, I did. Right before I hit the store, I pulled the e-brake with my right hand, and I let go with my left hand. And what I didn't see was the Macy's car running out at my car going, no, no, no. And he had his hands up like he was trying to block a field goal. Well, he blocked my field goal. He blocked it all over. Well, that was a crazy story. Do you guys know that Utah County Jail serve pizza for dinner on Friday nights? 
That pizza was good.